All right, guys. So this is what I've done. I have my two deep boxes for my first hive. What I'm going to do is split this first hive. That's what I meant to do the other day. However, the box that I had didn't have everything in it. So I had to take it back um, and <clears throat> get a medium super, which I ended up putting on my other hive. So this first hive is very packed. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go ahead and split this first hive and I'll show you exactly what I got going on here. So I went and I got a screen bottom board and a deep brood box. I popped the frames out here mainly because I want a slower build with this middle hive I do not want them building so fast they've been multiplying like rabbits <laughs> so I'm gonna show you again I don't have my smoker which you know I've got my protective equipment on like I said <clears throat> please wear protective equipment anyway this is my top of my second box I'm just going to show you what they've done. I have the foundation frame here, which had allowed for a quicker build during the spring, but I'm going to try to maybe get away from that uh, as I add the brood boxes on because I do not want them building the comb so fast. I want them to take their time during the summer. Okay, and as you can see, it's really pretty full. I had put some empty frames in here about two weeks ago. So what they've been doing is they've been trying to build both frames in and it's given me a little bit of leeway to get some time to go ahead and get another deep box the pollen and the nectar have been um, very plentiful this spring and i also have as you can see around me a fallen cedar tree along with a plethora of weeds goldenrod queen anne's lace all that yes i do have a canopy um i have provided them some shade but i'm actually going to go ahead and put this um these next couple frames i'm gonna go ahead and put into this deep box he's just kind of checking me out but I haven't done a video in quite some time, so I wanted to get out here and show you how my bees have progressed. Again, I've taken the Flow Hive Super off. They're pretty chilled out right now because what I've done, what I had done was I drilled the holes in the side for ventilation. And I went ahead and I did that with this box as well. You can see there's some beautiful comb on this frame here. And I think I saw my queen or one of them. She's pretty good size. And they're working on that. I'm not going to tip it too much. And there's, I don't know if you can see her, but there's one. And she's just kind of trying to find, and there's another one. She's pretty good size. No, she's not marked, but I can spot her right away. She's the largest in there. 
and she's very fat and healthy, which is exactly what I want. So that's going to give them some time to build up on this frame. And again, I do not like using full plastic. So what I did on this was I cut a strip and I nailed it with brads up into the top groove there. So as you can see, it does give quite a bit of time for a slower. And there she is laying her eggs in there. And this is a newer comb. It's got capped honey. She is so nice and healthy and she is actively laying an egg in that cell. Sorry, this is shaking, but kind of trying to hold on to it with one hand. So she's just kind of doing what her, she's doing what honeybees are supposed to do. So I'm going to put that one there. I've taken one frame of food and that is a foundation. It does have a foundation in that frame. I don't know if you can see it down there, but and they're busy working there. So this is going to be the start of my third hive. And again, this screened bottom board I got um, has, it's got a board that kind of slips in the bottom there as an insert. So during the winter time, what I'm going to do is uh, slip that in there. And then as far as the holes are concerned, what I'll do is I will take some wine corks and wash them off and I will go ahead and cork all of my holes in the uh, brood boxes. That way I don't have to worry about robbing during the winter time or the airflow through through the hives, I don't want, you know, I don't want them to freeze, so I'll cork those when it becomes winter time. So I'm going to take maybe one more of these frames here and put them down into the other to keep this steady as I can. And I've already taken, let me unplug this. I was trying to keep it charged. I've already taken um, an empty frame and I put it over on the side just to kind of give them a little bit of room to build. So I'm going to take and move this. Um, this is called checkerboarding. <laughs> if you are watching and you want to know, um, I'm checkerboarding the frames. So that is going to not only give them a little second story apartment, it's going to give them a little bit more room. I kind of wish I had popped the foundations out. See, they're not, if you work with them, um, they're not exactly swarming right now, but they could because it is so packed. I'm just going really, really easy, really gentle with them. 
Now this is one of the frames that I had put in there a couple weeks ago. Make sure I don't have, let's see what I got on here. Yeah, they're just starting to kind of coat that with the um, pollen and the wax. And usually what I do recommend to, if you're going to use frames like this, is go ahead, if you have, which I didn't do, go ahead and if you have um, beeswax, go ahead and rub it onto there. Um, we don't want squished bees, so I'm being careful. Because that's going to give them a head start. Now, I do not want to take but maybe one clean from here. We've already built up some down into that second story. I'm just kind of easing it around there. Last time I had to be careful because last time I got tagged through the globe. And I did see a lot of eggs the last time I was out here. So I'm probably going to have to set this down to go ahead and pull that second box out because they have a lot of pollen stored up. They will get all up in the way. So I'm just going to take my hive tool and put it down there. Because they're, obviously they're not paying attention <laughs> to me blowing on the thing. But that is my first box down there. I'm going to be pulling this box off actually. And I'm going to check it as well. I'm going to pull some of the frames out of there. Maybe one frame of food for that. And put it into my new hive. So what I'll do is I'll end this. And do what I'm going to do on this top box. And I will continue my next video. 